Hey everyone, welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. Infinity Ward very recently added the brand new Dragon's Breath rounds into Modern Warfare, and today I'm going to show you how to get them really easily. So there's two different types they've added for the shotguns, and for these there's a specific challenge for each one. So for the basic Dragon's Breath rounds, which are the 12 gauge incendiary ammo, the challenge is that you need to get 15 kills shortly after reloading. The other type of Dragon's Breath rounds is the 6 round magazines, which is actually a detachable mag, kind of like an assault rifle magazine rather than actual shotgun pellets. The benefit with this is it also has increased ADS speed and then you obviously have the 12 gauge incendiary ammo as well. So this makes it less like a shotgun, more like an assault rifle or something like that. For this one you have to get three long shots in three different matches using the scout optics. So this one's a little bit easier. I'm explaining very quickly how to do both those challenges so stay tuned and if you find it useful feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing for the latest and greatest Modern Warfare videos. So firstly we're going to cover the 15 kills shortly after reloading. I know this has been a very difficult challenge in the past, people have struggled with this because there was a similar challenge for camos. All I would say is I'm going to quickly talk about this here now, the best tips quickly, but if you find it difficult I'll have a more detailed guide on my channel for that camo guide. I'll leave a card on screen for that and have a link in the description, so go and check that out if you are struggling with this challenge after listening to the tips in today's video. Firstly, in terms of modes, at the moment there is a current playlist called the Cabin Fever playlist. It's basically a mosh pit of small close quarter combat maps which are Rust, Shipment, Shoot House, Gun Runner and Hackney Yard. So I'd suggest you go onto that rotation for this, it will make it a lot easier. You can either go onto the core or hardcore version depending on your preference, it doesn't matter too much. But anyway, go to that playlist and then for your class setup, you obviously have your shotgun which you need to put on. So for example here I've got the Model 680, on that I've put the Marauder muzzle, the XRK barrel, the TAC laser, having no stock and having sleight of hand perk. Those are my attachments. The rest of the class doesn't matter too much except for perk 3, I put the tune up perk and that allows you to have faster field upgrade charging. And the reason for that is because I recommend adding stopping power as your field upgrade as this means that your bullets do more damage at a further distance when you add this to your shotgun. So I definitely recommend that to make kills a little bit easier and it's more likely that you'll get one shot kills with these. So first of all I recommend that you shoot one bullet at spawn every time you die and I suggest that you reload when an enemy is possibly near that you suspect that they're near or when you're going around a corner and you're not sure. Those are the two best times to do it because what you're doing is you're anticipating that if an enemy is there you'll be able to reload in time and shoot them. Generally it has to be within a few seconds, I would say anywhere between 3-5 to five seconds is the maximum time between when you want to finish reloading and getting that kill. Now if there isn't an enemy present you just need to shoot another round again if you've already reloaded. But I would say don't reload until you see or suspect an enemy, there's no point doing it randomly. But if you're going around a corner you think there might be or if you hear someone you think someone might be there then that's when you do it. Now let's just say you start reloading and then you're not able to finish reloading because you see an enemy's coming up to you and you urgently need to stop then you need what you need to do is double tap the swap weapon button which is either triangle or Y depending on if you're PS4 or an Xbox and that will reload cancel which means whatever bullets you've got in there you'll stick with those and then you can get the kill and that way you won't die. So it's a little tip if you're in the middle of reloading but you haven't finished. Now you'll know if you're doing the right thing with these challenges because you'll also be earning those striped camos which need the same challenge to get kills shortly after reloading. Obviously that's unless you've already done all those camos for the shotgun. That's about it really. For kill streaks, it doesn't really matter too much but if you want a little helping hand I'd suggest maybe either personal radar or UAV or both might be good to help you see the enemies to help you get more kills. You will get them in no time. I wish you the best of luck and if you've got any other problems go and check out that video. I'll leave a card on the screen. So that's the first set of dragon rounds. Now let's move on to the other one which is a six round mag and let's see how to get those. So for this you need to get three long shots in three separate matches like I said and these need to be completed matches. You can't quit part way through I don't think and you need to be doing this while you're using the scout optic on your shotgun. So all I would say is that long shots are relatively easy compared to other weapon classes. The long shot distance is a lot shorter than with lots of other weapons so it's not as difficult as you might think. Again I'd recommend in terms of modes you go to that cabin fever playlist. Hardcore is ideal for this one but you can go to core if you want but I'd say hardcore just so that you can get those kills easier because you're trying to go for long shots so you want the enemy's health to be less. In terms of the class, it's a very similar class again. I recommend putting on the Marauder muzzle, the XRK barrel, the TAC laser, again having no stock and then obviously the scout optic. Again I recommend having the tune up perk so you can get faster field upgrades for perk 3 and then I'd also use the stopping power field upgrade again. 
for the same reason. The main tip really I can give you here is to push yourself back as far as possible to the edge of where you think that long shot distance will be. It's not anywhere near as far as the other guns, so it's actually not too far at all. I'll show you on screen what the kind of distance is that you can expect. It's not too far, but push yourself back as far as you can. It makes it easier to get those long shots and the more likely you will. And also to try and stay near those high flow areas of the map. If you need more tips on long shots, check out my long shot guide. I'll leave a card on screen again and a link in the description. Again, kill streaks, I'd recommend personal radar and UAV again. So those are the main tips. That is how to get both types of dragon breath rounds. I really like these. I think I'm gonna be incorporating these into my class a lot. Obviously, you just need to be aware though that the six round mag version of the dragon breath rounds will block your barrel, meaning you can either use this or the barrel attachments, but you can't use both. Whereas with the basic dragon's breath rounds, you can use a barrel attachment. So just bear that in mind. But yeah, I'll show you some gameplay with these. I think I really like it. Yeah, it helped me get a lot of kills. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like, it really helps me out. And consider subscribing with your post notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my upcoming Modern Warfare videos. But thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate all the support and I'll see you all on the next video.